transcribed from Hollywood. She's walking down the aisle, another Woodbury bride. She uses Woodbury soap because it's gentle and mild. It has a beauty cream ingredient, you'll like it all so much. Ask for Woodbury soap and have the skin you love to touch. Woodbury, the soap with the beauty cream ingredient, presents the Luella Parsons Show. What screen actress received a marriage proposal today at a football game? What film star was assaulted and had three ribs broken when he visited his mother? What glamorous thrush will become the next Mrs. Artie Shaw? Tonight you'll get the answers from Luella Parsons, motion picture editor of International News Service and the Hearst Papers. Luella will also have as her guest, Vic Damone. But first, the Hollywood headline, Luella Parsons. Hello from Hollywood to all of you. And now for my news. The much-married Artie Shaw, former husband of Lana Turner, Ava Gardner, Kathleen Windsor, and so forth, is trying it again. This time it's Sue Carson, who formerly sang at the Bar of Music here. If Mrs. Clark Gable persists in her alimony fight with Clark, there'll be real fireworks. There's an angle to the case that hasn't yet been revealed, and believe me, that angle is dynamite. It won't be brought out, however, if there's a friendly financial settlement. It's reported Mrs. Gable is asking for $100,000 cash, plus a goodly sum to be paid monthly. A process server is looking for Judy Garland, who's wanted as a witness in a Sid Love automobile accident. This isn't the accident that happened last week. But one that happened nearly a year ago when Attorney Josh Leslie, on behalf of a client, obtained a judgment for $1,500 against Luff. On October 16th, Leslie will ask Luff why he hasn't paid up. Isn't that the date that Judy's due to open at the palace? Producer Abby Gressler is not only negotiating with Leo DeRocher for the film rights of the baseball manager's life story, but he also wants Lorraine Day as co-star. Gressler put the proposition up to Leo and Lorraine yesterday. But he'll have to wait for the wind-up of the World Series before he can get a decision. And that reminds me, you can't get anybody on the studio telephone while the World Series is going on. When Barbara Payton appears before the federal grand jury on October 18th, presumably to repeat her story, which was an alibi for Stanley Adams, she'll be asked if she knows who killed Abe Davidian. Underworld narcotic ringleader. Don Cougar, formerly Barbara's sweetheart, will also be questioned. The title of a look article due on the stands Tuesday is Who Says Hollywood is Dying? That article by Jack Sayers proves movie attendance and profits are climbing. He says the studios are investing $285 million this coming year in talent, color, and production. There's factual reporting again ridicules the loose talk, pardon the pun, of Life magazine, which said motion pictures are doomed. Groucho Mark is demanding that Lester Cowan produce box office figures on Love Happy, a movie Cowan made with Groucho and his brothers some years ago. Tomorrow, the case comes up in the New York court. Groucho will claim Cowan, who produced the picture, owes him $43,000. You can call Jack Haley Grandpa. Last night, his daughter Gloria welcomed a nine-pound baby son. The young man will be named Louis Bregman III for his father. How's this for spot news? This afternoon, Jerry Nathanson, wealthy president of the Palm Springs Chamber of Commerce, took Pat Neal to the Rams football game. He asked her to marry him, and Pat is considering. Does that mean that the Gary Cooper romance is over? Macola Fontana, one of the famous sisters of the Italian dress designing firm, certainly had all the help in the world for her first showing here. Rex furnished the hat, Talabon the furs, and our leading jewelers, the jewel. Not that the gowns needed much jewelry. They're bejeweled and very fancy and made of fabulous material. The prices range from $300 to $1,500. That is, if you can afford them. John Barrymore Jr. has two broken ribs acquired in a very unpleasant way. When he went to visit his mother at her ranch, he was thrown off the property by a caretaker. Either the man didn't recognize young Jack or he didn't want him there. Hundreds of stars, writers, directors, and even producers left Hollywood this morning for all parts of the United States. They're a part of the Movie Time USA program. 
It's a perfect time for such a tour, with pictures never better. George Jessel tells me a lifetime dream has come true. Charles Scurris, head of the West Coast Theater, has named a theater for him. You couldn't give Georgie a million dollars and make him any happier. On Thanksgiving Day, Herman Hover, mine host of the Squank Nightclub Series, will marry Yvonne Ely, one of the most beautiful girls in town. She is a non-professional. It's a boy for the Louis Jordans. He'll be called Louis Jr. Mother, father, and baby are all doing well. I have a Woodbury marrying Deb in my own family. Tomorrow, my niece, goddaughter, and namesake, Luella Ettinger, is marrying Jerry Rayfield in the Beverly Hills Church of the Good Shepherd. Monsignor Kincannon is performing the ceremony. Now the fall is here, we know that winter cannot be far behind, Martha. And that means complexion needs extra care. So tell us again why Woodbury soap is so different and so marvelous, will you? I certainly will, Luella. Because Woodbury facial soap is different in a very important way. Woodbury contains a beauty cream ingredient, the same rich oil used in finest face creams to help keep skin soft and youthful looking. After washing with ordinary soap, skin may feel dry and taut. But the Woodbury Beauty Cream ingredient is intended to help replace natural oils you wash away. Try a facial with Woodbury soap and see for yourself how beautifully fresh and glowing your skin looks. How exquisitely soft it feels. Now here is the talk of the town. I have a young man with a voice here this evening to sing for us. He's also a young man in a uniform these days. And I must say he looks very handsome and healthy as he stands here beside me. I'm talking about Vic the Moon. You know, Vic, I wouldn't have grabbed you away from your three days furlough, except that I wanted to see you, I wanted to hear you, and I wanted to tell you how excellent you are in your first picture, Metro Goldwyn Mayer's Rich, Young, and Pretty. I liked your voice, I liked your love theme. In fact, I just play and liked you. Thank you, Miss Parsons. Now I'm really set up, getting such a big build-up from you. Well, I hope it makes you feel mellow enough to tell me if you are officially engaged. Sure, I'm engaged. To Joan Benny? Nope, to Uncle Sam for another 19 months. Oh, come on now, Dick. <laughs> you know that's not the engagement I mean. What about you and Joan Benny, Jack's attractive daughter? Well, Joan's engaged, too. She is? Mm-hmm, for Stanford University for four years beginning this month. Well, my young friend, if you won't talk, I just might take back some of my remarks about you and Rich young and pretty. Oh, don't do that, please. Besides, I like to talk about Joan. Did you know I didn't even know her name the first time I met her? Well, I've been told this heart-shaking event took place last winter at Palm Springs. Yes, at the racket club. I was hunting up a tennis game, and so was she. And we played one. And did she trounce me? <laughs> so to get even with her, I asked her to have dinner with me that evening. That just goes to show how you were attracted to her right in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And to prove how smart she is, she compromised on having a Coke right then. We just sat down at the counter when Jack Benny and Mary Livingston came in, and I said, being a big shot, look, that's Jack Benny, the funniest man in the world. Joan looked up and said, oh, I don't know, he's not so funny at home. Well, you must have been glad you'd already established yourself as liking her old man. Miss Parsons, at that time, I was in such a fog looking at Joan that I still didn't realize she was Jack's daughter. Well, didn't you get onto it when she said he's not so funny at home? Well, it puzzled me. So I changed the subject and asked her uh, to name her favorite singer. That was Vic DeMont. No, that was Tony Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet that floored you. Well, when I got up, <laughs> when I got up, somebody came over and said, Joan, your mother wants you. And I saw Mary Livingston smiling at us. And then I really flipped. I never heard of such a way to a young man's heart. Or can she cook? Joan's going to have to take a year off to learn how to cook spaghetti. But seriously, we haven't dated anyone else from that day on. But what with my date with Uncle Sam and hers with Stanford, we can't make any immediate plans. I call that very wise. Tell me, are you getting used to Army regulations? Well, Miss Parsons, this may sound like flag-waving, but I really am. I'm, I'm glad to serve my country. And you know, of course, that when you get back, MGM has a picture ready and waiting for you. So Joe Passanac tells me. Do you wonder why I feel so good about... Being alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's as good a song to you as I ever heard. Your record, Wonder Why, explains a lot of your own sentiments or I miss my guess. Miss Parsons, you never miss a thing. Why, thank you, Vic. Now may we have the song? Mm -hmm. Gladly. Wonder why I'm not 
myself of late I'm feeling strangely brave I wonder why I suppose some genius could explain why I walk in the rain just let him try I guess there is a simple explanation unless I come up with a new sensation it could be that she's caught up with me and all the mystery I'm speaking of is simply that I went and fell in love. Let me say that sounds like a young man well worth waiting for. Goodbye and good luck overseas from all of us. Nothing's more appealingly feminine than soft smooth skin, and proper care is the secret. So give your complexion Woodbury care. Woodbury facial soap, you know, is much more than just a cleanser. Woodbury contains a beauty cream ingredient intended to help replace natural oils you wash away. Try Woodbury facials and see what a difference that makes. How sparklingly fresh Woodbury soap makes your skin look and how velvety soft it makes it feel. She's walking down the aisle Another Woodbury bride She uses Woodbury soap Because it's gentle and mild It has a beauty cream ingredient you like it all so much Ask for Woodbury soap And have the skin you love to touch Now here is last minute news Terrific forest fires have broken out in the Verdugo Hills Five miles from Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, started by careless picnickers. Today is the hottest day of the year in Los Angeles, 96 at noon. A little warm, but not bad with the rest of the country having storms and rain. Yesterday at the little church around the corner, Mrs. Roxanne Stahl, widow of Director John Stahl, became the bride of Ben Smith, government official. They're headed for Hollywood for a honeymoon. It's a boy for the Justin Darts. Mrs. Darts was formerly Jane Bryant, motion picture actress, and he is an executive of the Rexall Drug Company. Elizabeth Frazier is marrying Charles Peck, Universal International writer in June. That's when she gets her final divorce decree from Ray McDonald. Roscoe Kahn's well-known actor wants all the world to know that he's a grandfather. His son, Todd, and his wife are the parents of a Nate Palm son named Roscoe, whom Grandma says looks like Grandpa. Crisp, cold weather is coming soon, so now's the time to think about hand care. And that means Jergens lotion. Because regular Jergens care keeps hands soft as satin. Smooth on soothing Jergens before going outdoors, always after dishwashing and household chores. Jergens is really effective and quick, too, because it's instantly absorbed, leaves no sticky feeling. So keep your hands romantically lovely for pennies a day. Jergens lotion only costs ten cents to a dollar, plus tax. This is the well of Parsons saying that's all for tonight, but I'll see you next Sunday when I'll take you to the glamorous photographer's costume ball where you'll meet the stars. And this is Marvin Miller saying good night for Woodbury, the soap with the beauty cream ingredient for the skin you love to touch. This transcribed program came to you from Hollywood. America is sold on ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.